What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video, I wanted to do a brief discussion of iOS 10.1. I wanted to let you guys know exactly what iOS 10.1 brings to the table, talk a little bit about the jailbreak, and let you guys know how to install jailbreak applications without jailbreaking on iOS 10.1 using your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So I have iOS 10.1 here installed on my iPhone 6, as you guys can see right here, iOS 10.1. And it does work very, very well on the iPhone 6 and all iPhones or iPads or iPod Touches alike. You may be wondering, what actual new features the iOS 10.1 update will bring to the table. Well, iOS 10.1 initially will bring the bokeh effect, which allows you when you're taking a photo to actually see an object up close and blur the background, it gives you a little bit crispier photo, makes you focus more on the object at hand. This is actually an exclusive to iPhone 7 Plus running iOS 10.1. Now there are applications in the App Store that you can get the bokeh effect, and I will be doing a review of the bokeh effect next week when it is available, showing you guys how to get it on other iPhones as well, and it is a cool feature that iOS 10.1 brings to the iPhone 7 Plus. In terms of all other devices, iOS 10.1 will bring much needed speed and performance improvements to the device. iOS 10, you may think that it actually ran well on your iPhone 7 or iPod Touch or iPad or whatever iPhone that you may have. However, the truth is if you do a side-by-side -side comparison, you will notice that iOS 10.1 is worlds better than iOS 10, guys. Specifically in terms of animation speed and how quickly you can navigate your device, iOS 10.1 really optimizes is that, especially for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. What I mean by that is when you go ahead and open up an application, it's supposed to actually close halfway if you click the home button. For example, if I open it and close the application midway, it's really, really fast, guys. iOS 10 actually, you have to load the application fully and then click the home button. iOS 10.1, basically about twice as fast as iOS 10 on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, which is absolutely awesome, greatly needed on these devices. In terms of simple tasks like browsing the web or sending a text message, you will not notice too much of a difference However, they have ironed out a lot of the bugs. They've improved the speed and the animation speed will be worlds different. You'll notice that probably the most. And iOS 10.1 just optimizes the software. Every release of iOS that they have in a 0.1 form usually optimizes the software for the hardware and irons out most of the bugs they were initially having. So it's much needed. Really excited for that, guys. I will pinpoint the release date as October 27th, which is just about a week from now. And the reason for that is that Apple actually announced they were having a new Mac event on October 27th, so it would make sense for them to finally release the iOS 10.1 final version during the Mac event next week. They've also released a fifth beta of iOS 10.1 today, and that gives them just enough time to finalize the sixth beta. I believe iOS 10 was out after eight betas, and iOS 10.1, it would make sense to be released, as they have had so many betas, ironed out all the bugs, and it makes perfect sense. So moving on to the jailbreak, guys, as you guys can see here on my iPhone 6, even though I am running iOS 10.1, I do still have many tweaked applications, screen recorders, and emulators, hacked games, and I also have a couple of installers here as well. So there are ways to install jailbreak apps on iOS 10.1 without a jailbreak, which is probably what you're going to do initially. And I'm happy to report that the same methods that I have down there in the description and all of my guides showing you guys how to install jailbreak apps without jailbreaking on iOS 10 do still work on iOS 10.1. To prove it, I actually have Zestia installed here, guys. I can go ahead and open it up here, show you guys that it works just like it would on iOS 10. The install process will be the same as the guides down there. But you can see that I have a packages list here. I can go into the applications folder. I can go ahead and click on any of these applications and simply download them just like it would work on iOS 10 as it did previously. I also have some tweaked apps on my phone here. I have the Instagram tweaked app and Snapchat plus plus. These will actually crash as I have not reloaded them yet. But if I were to follow the guide and reload them onto my device using my computer, they would work the same way they did on iOS 10 on 10.1. I'll show you guys that Snapchat's still actually crashing here as well. I will reload them, they will work. I've tested them on my other devices and the good news is it follows the same process that I have down there in the description. So if you guys wanna get any of those tweaked apps or any of these installers onto your device to install jailbreak apps, all the guides will be down there in the description. Go ahead and check those out. They will work on iOS 10.1 and on the final release when it is released next week. In terms of the actual jailbreak, I'm gonna go ahead and say what I said all along so far. iOS 10 does not have a jailbreak. I would expect it to be released by year end. If it's not at least released by then, it will be released in January or February of next year, I would assume. The Pengu team is hard at work. It takes them a lot of time to do this. Really appreciate that work, guys. And we should never actually rush the jailbreaks. It's awesome that we actually still have jailbreaks coming consistently. And the good news is iOS 9.3.3 still 
still has a jailbreak. So if you are still on that firmware, you can still jailbreak your device. If not, we can use these other links in the description to make jailbreak apps work for us. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was insightful. If you did, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up. Really appreciate that guys and really like that you guys are here with me watching my videos. It really means a lot. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my Facebook, Google Plus page and website page down there in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot them over to me on those websites. Those are easy ways to stay in touch with me. And I've got some links in the description for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps. 100% free down there. Easy ways to do that. Works totally fine. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome and have a great day wherever you are watching from. Catch you next time. Peace.